man, so I actually did it. I was able to get my table saw to go from a 12 inch rip capacity to a 40 inch rip capacity. I didn't have to go buy anything. I wasn't sure I could even make it work. You'll see in the video if you keep watching. So let's take a closer look, see what I did. Check out some of the features here that it has. This fence goes very smoothly from one end to the other. So this is a fall off piece that I was saving in the shed. And that was a piece of this here. I had a couple, several chunks, inch and a um, quarter thick. Very thick heavy duty stuff. Um, What's up, baby? One of the birds with us today in the workshop. Hey, out. But, um, so I'm gonna grab the camera, I'm gonna show you some little details, and then if you wanna see, you can watch the full build here, starting where I struggled and had a hard time actually making this happen. So, let's, let's do this. Just a quick preview. Uh, yeah, there's metal here, okay, not a big deal. This thing goes very smoothly. Now I could have went wider with this table here if I had a better piece, a longer piece of this material here. But I used what I had and I just happened to have enough of this angle iron and enough of this melamine to make it happen exactly. Let's start the build. So my plan here is to build an extension wing on the right hand side of this table saw that my fence could continue past another 30 inches or so. So that way I can have a uh, at least a three foot ripping capacity. That's what I'm hoping for. So to get started with this, I pre-cut a piece of inch and a quarter thick melamine. It already has some white on the edge. And so I've been poking around. I need to duplicate this thickness right here. It's about 3 sixteenths. So my fence can continue down. I have over here rigged up. I have like a, um, an L channel some metal, it's a corbel, but if I put the fence in here and if I barely clamp down, it seems like it's gonna wanna work. So I'm gonna take this metal, I'm gonna cut it down and um, weld it up and see if I can make this thing work. Here's what I'm trying to get, I'm trying to duplicate something like this with this piece coming way over here and um, of course the metal right here on the front. This is the material that I'm working with here. I don't have anything longer than this piece. So what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to cut this here, uh, cut a square on that. I'll have to cut a square probably here because it's the side corner. And um, well, nonetheless, I'm gonna have to weld it up so I can have a nice straight piece. And this, if I weld this up, I did the measurements, I also found this piece that'll give me 30 inches just enough to go on this new piece that I'm gonna make. I like this saw right here. It's really powerful, really heavy duty. This is just a fun little toy project, just a little something to do until I find the cabinet saw that I'm looking for, or contractor saw, or maybe I'll fix up the one that I have. But since I have this, I already have all the material. It's not gonna cost me anything but some time. I'm just gonna make it happen. Okay, so I got my seam back beveled here. Okay, and I took a straight piece of wood here. I tried to use a metal, but the metal has a little warp to it. But if I line up the melamine piece of wood here and squeeze at both ends, it appears that I'm really straight and I'm flat. What I'm gonna do is roll the um, welder over here and put a little tack weld in here. So this is gonna be the face of this um, stand thing that I'm making for the fence. So I'll just come over here, roll it over. All right, I'm gonna plug it in. Not too bad. All right, so I got a little excited here. I probably shouldn't have put that bead all the way down. I should have probably just put it in the corner. I took the hacksaw, put it on the vise here, and I was able to cut this much and, and spread it because this is the face right here. And when I put the face, I know for a fact that this is a nice perfect straight edge. 
there's no warp in it. When I put it on here, it was rocking. So what I did was I cut it and I was able to bend it to know where it's nice and straight here. Or actually here. And then I got the dogs bugging on me here. They're glued to me because they see I got an egg wing muffin and they want some. <laughs> so I just pretend that I don't have it and when, they're, when they don't look, I take a bite. <laughs> but they see me chewing. And they're like, what are you chewing on? <laughs> So anyways, now this is really seems really straight now. I'll do another little tack and check it out and see how that goes. Let's put a little tack right here on the top. Okay, so I put that little tack right here, which is barely, barely any. And I don't know what happened, but it's warped again. See how it's not straight? It teeter-totters off the center point. So I'm gonna have to probably recut it and rebend it. Okay, so I cut it and I didn't even really do anything to it and now it's now it seems pretty good. Oh, it's got a little bit of a bounce to it. So I'll bend it. Hear that? I'll bend it and try it again. Alright, so I took some bar clamps and I clamped it on this straight piece right here. And I know that this is like plastic so I don't want to get this hot. But what I'm going to do now that it's perfectly straight, level like this and everything, straight going this way, I'm going to put a, a little tack right here again and I'll let it cool down and I'll loosen the clamps and see what happens. I don't know, hopefully it works. I hope that works. I don't know why it's doing that. It must have something to do with um, when it cools maybe. Okay, so I don't know what the heck. Okay, I let this cool down for a few minutes, right? I came back here and I, I let go of the bar clamps and look at it rocks still. So I have to break the weld. Look at that. I don't know why it does that. And maybe if I if I do it to where it's open in the middle, if I can bend it enough, maybe it'll weld straight. But this is not going to be good. Man, I dropped it. I loosened the clamp and it broke. Okay, so I re had to recut the seams. I cut off about three sixteenths off each side. Put a new clean bevel on it. And I got to thinking, instead of trying to weld it on a flat on one edge, why not just lay it flat like this? I'm just gonna put a little tack on it and see what happens. Okay, so I tried it again, and instead of working my way from this outside this way, I started from the inside corner and went out. And this side on the flat is good. This side wasn't good, so I grinded it down a little bit, and I was able to bend it out just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and slowly put a couple little beads in here, and um, or tacks or whatever, and try to get it so I could use this. Okay, so I finally got it. It took me a few minutes. Well, it took me another couple hours. But, um, so I cleaned this up pretty nice. And I added some 3 16 holes. Six of them. Three on each side of the weld of the seam. So coming over here to the piece, this is the part that I'm trying to um, modify on the top. Now, this piece is higher than this, and this needs to be below a quarter of an inch. This is the line that I would have to cut. From this line up, has to get removed. So, but I don't really, I don't have the patience to try to grind on this. I don't have the tools, I don't think. So instead of trying to cut this off now, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give it a shot, is I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on here like this, but I'm gonna put a quarter inch spacer between the millimeter and the metal to bring it up just a little bit to what I think is gonna be acceptable to work. I have the metal on here now. Um, this little line right here, I have to route this line out in the top, about 3 16 down, because the fence has a little piece of metal um, that goes right there in order to make this work. And you can see I had to build it down a half of an inch. I used a couple quarter inch spacers, so we'll see if it works. Okay, so I'm trying to match this top here is what I, obviously that's what I'm doing. So to cheat, I think that if I hook this here on the table saw top and then come over this way, I got 1 16th less than 22. So I'm thinking if I set my table saw up at 22 inches and run the metal across the fence, I'll cut this exactly at 22 and hopefully be done with it. All right, so this is the part that I welded. It's pretty nice, I think, but um, you can see what, What's going on here? A couple quarter inch pieces built up. 
So I'll just run this along the fence here. Okay, so it's not gonna work if I do that because if I run it upside down, I'll chip the melamine over here. And also if I try to flip it right side up, these screws are gonna start um, getting in the way, a little bump. So what I'm gonna have to do is get a couple three quarter inch strips and screw them down here to bring it up a little bit so I can run it face up. Okay, I got it over here, and it's pretty good. It slides on here, but the thing is, I think this metal track has to get lifted up about another eighth of an inch or so to sit in there tight. Okay, so now it's upside down. The easiest way that I figured out, well, I'm gonna add some more screws to it where the pencil mark is. Um, because when I clamp it down, it flexes a little bit and this will give it some extra strength. And what I'm going to do also, instead, um, the easiest thing I figured out is I put a pencil line where this finger is and I put a pencil line here. Okay, took the, this rail off and this piece here I took off. And so the part where my thumb is is just going to have to get cut down because I'll just run it in, on the blade of the table saw and just take off about an eighth of an inch. That'll be the easiest thing to do so it sits deeper. So now I got this on. I um, routed this in, or I actually put it on my table saw, hogged it out. But we're flushed up here. Hopefully that's good enough. So let's flip it over and see. Okay, so you can see here that as this, as as I push down on this, it like pretty much locks onto here. And there's only there's a small amount of pressure back here, just a little bit, but not a whole lot but I think it's just to give it some, some strength. Um, so it goes pretty smooth. So let's check it for, see how accurate it is. I'll just pick a spot right here. It's nine and 11 sixteenths. Come over this way and it's at nine and 11 sixteenths heavy, which is perfect because you kind of want the fence to be where it comes, the blade comes up, you kind of want the fence to be off a little bit um, so that way it doesn't chip the material that you run or I run. So let's, let's find another spot. Check it here. I got 21 and 3 quarters heavy. And here I have 21 and 13 16. So it's perfect right here. So I have to figure out how to mount it on the table saw top. Okay. But if, you, if we come down here and look up a little bit. You'll see that I have some threads already here. I have to just figure out what thread size that is. And there's two more in the back. So um, that's gonna be really easy. I'm thinking all I have to do is figure out what, what size thread this is, two of them, and have a piece of uh, metal or wood coming out, overhanging just a little bit. This will just sit on top of that because this is just a, a tick smaller, shorter than this. So I could put a spacer underneath there and bring it up flush. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is figure out what threads I need, the size thread it is, and um, bolt that in there and take it one step at a time. But man, this is so cool. 